What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Hustle Q, man. Back with another video, man. You know what it is, man. Check this out, man. Before we get started, if you guys could do me a favor, a um, couple of things I want to go over. If you guys can just smash that like button. Just hit the like button, man. It just helps out the video, spreads it around. At least that's what I heard. So anyway, man, appreciate you guys. Appreciate the new subscriber that's jumping on. Um, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's just got me motivated. I got some good videos coming up, man. I got some challenges. Um, a new segment I'm about to do, man, is Hated Win Wednesdays, man. Yeah, every Wednesday, we're going to do a Hated Win. So I hope you guys participate in it. I did get the idea, if you guys are familiar with Big Boy, that used to be with Paul 106. He used to do a Hated Win Wednesdays. Well, he's at 92.3, and he don't do it no more. So I'm going to take it and run with it. You might say you might be still in it, but it is what it is. Anyway, so check this out, man. Quick update. We're about to get into this video, but... I want to let you guys know, it has nothing to do with reselling, but in the apartment complex that I live in, and I'm pretty sure in every complex, every um, house, neighborhood, everyone's got a problem with somebody or anything. The problem that we have over here is people not picking up their dog poop. Yes, we're going to talk about it. Here's the situation. When you have a cat or a dog, you have to register it through the apartment complex with the DNA. I said it. Yes, DNA. So what happens with that, if you're going around walking your dog, and you don't pick up the poop, maintenance comes around, picks up the poop, and do a DNA test on your dog poop to match it up for what you sent in. Crazy, right? This is a true story. Does it happen, though? I don't know. Yes, people are, look, I'm looking at the girl now. She's walking her dog. She don't have a bag in her hand. And she's like, I, she's a suspect. Uh, people are saying I'm watching her now. People say she doesn't pick up her dog poop. Now, I've been having dog poop, not in front of my door, but on the outer part which you got to be careful you don't step in and a lot of neighbors is looking at this young lady that's walking her dog she has a beautiful dog too um nice size dog and everything but that's an update if you don't pick up your poop they do a dna test they put it towards you you get a citation you get fined or whatever the situation is anyway has nothing to do with this video swap meet hustle season two episode one is about to go in effect man hope you guys stay to the end watch the end of the video we gotta do what you gotta do Smash the like button, drop a comment, let me know what's up. Do you got the same problem in your neighborhood? Let's go. How much is it? Huh? 25. Nice. Give me 20. Too much for me. Thank you. How much are your animals? Uh, one dollar. One dollar? So, dollar for this one, right? Yeah, yeah, Papa. All right, man. Bless you, yeah, man. Thank you. All right. Hey, you have another bag, Bunny Chan? Yeah, hold on. Can no, I give you one? Five, five, five. You sure? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're not giving me five? I don't know. Let me see. I don't know. That's where I put it over here. Yeah, I give you five. That's where hey, I put I it over here. I gave you five. No, I gave you uh, one, right? No, no. <laughs>
Okay, so this box and that box, five bucks for both box? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll take a chance on it. Appreciate it. All right. I gotta start carrying me a wagon or something. Um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna drive right through okay. like that, okay? All right, I'll be here Okay, cool, thank you. All right, you two. Real quick break, man. We stopped doing the swap meet to go pick up these boxes of books. Um, they're probably worth nothing, but she wants to get rid of them. That was the whole idea coming to the swap meet kind of late. It's two big boxes, well, two regular size boxes for five bucks. So I'm gonna pull my car around going into the swap meet, and then I'm gonna park in the swap meet and finish up from there, man. So hopefully these books are worth some type of money. We'll go from there, man. Peace. It's all free. YouTube so we made it back from the swap meet um I gotta go bring this stuff out of the car and I got some stuff that I washed so the stuffed animals the plush I don't know why I saying animals man because they like animals right I don't know anyway look man I went ahead and washed them I did make a rookie mistake and I will show you that in a minute um but I did look you guys remember the table in the last video wait a minute where the hell I'm looking okay here it is remember that table in the last video I cleared everything off. I got it kind of stacked up in the neat stuff that's got to be listed. Basically, I made a mess on the other side. Anyway, I got a garage inspection coming up, so I got to get the garage clean. But let me show you what I got in the car first real quick. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with that. All right, y'all, we're in the outside world. I don't know if my neighbors are looking. All right, y'all see this right here? Damn, I don't even have my keys. Okay, look real close. Those are the two boxes. Um, those are full of books. I'm gonna leave them in there and take like 10 or 15 out at a time, little by little, and just go from there. Any other books, you know, trash if it's not making money, whatever, you know what it is. So these two boxes of books is gonna stay in here. As you guys can see, sorry I left my keys in the house, man. Whew, all right, YouTube, I'm back. Show you what else I got from the swap meet. Those two right there, as you saw, those were two books, two boxes full of books. I got for five bucks for the whole thing. So I still got to go through those, which will be real easy to go through. But if you notice in the video where I said free stuff, there was some free stuff. But I'll go to the stuff what I paid for. This one right here, I picked up this plush. And by the way, man, shout out to It's Just Ivan. Um, he has like opened my mind up to the plush because I wasn't really into plush. And I seen the sales and everything that he posts up on Instagram and um, when he's doing his what's old video. So I'm thinking like, man, plush. And I see a lot, but, you know, I don't know too much about plush, but I'm learning. The one thing I learned, and here's my rookie mistake, I'm going to tell you. I had the plush with the tags on it, but the plush smelled bad. I washed it. Now I can't find the tags. So it is what it is. That was my little rookie move. Um, anyway, I picked up this one for a dollar. Um, this one went out for a dollar. Don't do mo. You know what? I'm not too familiar with the plush, so please don't yell at me. If anything, you guys can help me out and let me know what plush this is. It looks like those ugly monster toys I sold before, but there's a tag. I mean, I gotta look them up, man. And the tags are all right here. I'll figure it out, man. But this one I paid a dollar for. Just to let you guys know that I did pay a dollar for that one. Um, I'm gonna show you the other plush that I got. And again, shout out to this just something because I wouldn't be doing this if I wasn't watching his videos because I would have been like, man, I'm not dealing with plush. But plush is plush, you know what I'm saying? I like it. Anyway, 
another one I picked up for a dollar is on um, Papa Smurf. Now I washed everything, almost all of it, because the ones I washed, man, they smell bad, dude. They like they stunk up my car. I like got out of the car, came back in. I'm like, the hell? I thought it was the books. It was the plush, man. But damn hmm. boys, plush smells good. Anyway, I got Papa Smurf. I saw Papa Smurf sitting there. Paid a dollar for him. Okay, these are the this is right when I walked into the swap meet. Normally I go to the end and then work my way up, but I saw the plush and I wanted to take a crack at it. The guy said a dollar for all the I said animals, but he said a dollar. Then I saw this one. I actually put this one down and I realized this is also Smurf. And I couldn't get my dang finger on the tag. But this is a Smurf bear too. This is Smurf. And I'm gonna show you. See, it says Smurf. You guys can see that's Smurf right there. So I also paid a dollar for that one. And then it was something else I paid a dollar for because I bought like, I got those three animals. So I'm probably missing an animal that I paid a dollar for. This is my kids. If you guys hear them, they're screaming in the background because they got nothing but else to do in life. Oh, Winnie the Pooh. I believe I paid a dollar for this one. So this is, this is Winnie the Pooh, right? Yeah, it's got the Disneyland tag on it. Um, Winnie the Pooh, I don't know if he's supposed to have any clothes on or whatnot, but... He's smelling good. He's smelling good. That was when he pooped. Now those right there, I paid four bucks for. Right off the right off the back. I was just excited to get plush. I really kind of looked over them. They're okay. Look like they're really good condition even after I washed them and everything. So that was $4. Now, as I'm walking through the swap meet, as you guys see, the thing was about me going to the swap meet was my cousin told me before at the end of the day, people don't like packing up stuff. So they're going to sell it to you hella cheap or they're just going to leave it there for people just to pick through, right? Of course, the books, I wasn't going to buy the books. I couldn't scan them because the sunlight was in the way. The lady said, look, I'll make a deal with you. Five bucks for both boxes. So I said, you know what? I'll go ahead and take a chance on it. I know I got to make something off that, right? So anyway, as I'm going through the stuff, I found people digging through the pile. So I'm looking. I said, okay, that's what it was. So free stuff. I got this one right here. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to depend on you guys, just this video. And after that, I'm on my own. Okay. You guys can let me know who is this? You know what? Who is this? I picked it up one because they're all free. This is just the rest I'm showing you right now is what I got for free. So it's a little monkey with the tail. I have to look it up. I'm going to have to do some research on it and I'm going to figure it out. So I picked up that one just because it was free. Okay. If I had to pay for it, then I probably wouldn't have paid for it. Okay. This next one, here's, this is my rookie mistake right here. This thing, this one smelled really bad, almost made me gag, but I had to wash it. And this is the one that had tags on it and the tags are gone. And I should at least scan the darn tag before I, you know, looked at it so I can see where in the heck it is. But um, it's a pearl. I don't know. It's a bear. It was free. I went on and picked it up. I thought it looked pretty good. We'll figure it out. We'll see if we can get rid of it or whatnot. It's cool. Now, this other plush. Now, look, picked up Peter Rabbit. I was familiar with Peter Rabbit. I can't think of the name of the movie where it was from. My kids will let me know. But it was this is Peter Rabbit. I washed him. He's good to go. Um, nothing really on the tag. Oh, yeah, there's some stuff on the tag. But I know this one. But if you guys know what movie it is, let me know. And this was another free one. So, so far, for the plush and stuff that I got was 4 bucks. The two boxes were 5 bucks. okay? So then I picked up this one. And this one didn't need to be washed. Or I might have washed. Yeah, I think I washed it. But the tag hung on there. Or maybe I didn't wash this one. But anyway, got to get a gown. Uh, the world's was... I don't know. It's a gown, I don't know. The bear was free. You know what I'm saying? It's a bear. So, um, it smells good. It smells like a regular bear. So, this is good to go. And this was free. So, I picked up this one. Guys, if you know who this is, drop a comment below. Let me know. Because I'm sorry, I'm I'm a rookie right now, but I'm learning the ropes, all right? I'm learning the ropes. Then this one, I was I, I picked it up, I think, and I might have dropped I don't know. It was sitting there. I'm surprised the other people didn't do it. I got the My Little Pony. The only thing I'm, like, worried about, if you guys can let me know, the legs right here are a little weak. So it is not going to stand up on its own. Um, it has a little cape that goes on between the tail. It goes into the tail and everything. So it's like a little jacket. That went with it. Um, I washed them. My Little Pony came out really beautiful. Um, there was some stains on here, but I don't see them now. It's got the little My Lonely My Little Pony patch. I do have a yellow one like this. Um, I think I'm gonna lot them up together just to see if I can get rid of them with that. And boom, just like this one. And this was also free. So so far, four bucks into a whole bunch of plush like that. 
Um, then this next one I found that has nothing to do with plush, but it was free. The zipper works on it. This thing. This is a tennis racket, right? Puck jacket thing, man. If I'm wrong, dude, just laugh at me now. But anyway, I got this one up. It looks pretty new. Um, no stains, no rips, no cuts or nothing. It was just sitting there. So I picked it up, man. Let me see if I can get rid of that one. That was free also. And then this next one. Now, I know what this is. Bam, bam, right? Am I right? Flintstones? Wait a minute. Am I right? My wife said bam, bam. Bam, bam. From the Flintstones with their little son, right? Or is it Tasmanian? Did he have a stick? Man, I don't know. I'm sorry. Can y'all please drop a comment? Let me know, man. God dang, dude. I'm bad at this, man. First time doing a plush video. I know. You know what? I'm pretty sure. Ivan's watching this. He's just going to put his head down like, come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so look, man. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven items pretty much for four bucks. The books, five bucks. So I spent the total of nine bucks. I want to say my total profit for this lot and those books, I'm going to throw it at, I'm going to throw it, you know what? Because I think the books is going to bring me some money. I'm going to throw it a hundred bucks and I will keep you posted. I'm serious. And anyway, this thing, man, was sitting there, man. It is, it's got to be Bam Bam or something. I got, I didn't look nothing up yet. So I'm going to look this up. I got to get to cleaning my garage real quick, but you know what I'm saying? That hurt. Anyway, look, man. Thank you guys for watching, man. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, share it. Do what you got to do, man. It's your boy, Hustle Q. I think someone's by my garage. But anyway, man, listen, man. I did the plush haul. Um, hope you guys like it. Stay on. We got more coming, man. Peace. Peace.